Hello. Yeah, Derail Valley. That's what we're playing. Um, we'll see how it goes. So, hopefully the audio is working. I think it should be able to hear that. Nice duffel bag, satchel sound. Just finished the um, tutorial. Learned how to drive this somewhat more or less. So, yeah, this game came out a couple of years back and it had some big update recently. And I thought I had it, but apparently I did not have this game. Got most of the other train games, not all of them. There's a lot. <laughs> and more all the time. But... Yeah, so I finally got this one. I thought I already had it, but I didn't. Um, I have it now. So I'm playing it. Um... Yeah, we brought this still up here. Just looking at the map. Let's look at it again. Just... So, let's see if I get this right. Yeah, we're up here on that. I don't think I can zoom in. Yeah, I can a little bit. Um, right, the little blue pizza triangle. That's us. We're facing that way. It should be south if it's a standard map kind of thing. Yeah, that could be. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. East over there. West this way. This is the north. Down here should be south. Sure, that works out pretty good. It's a pretty extensive map from what I've seen, so see if we can haul some freight around. Um, figure out how all this works. You sort of get a license to drive a particular type of engine. This kind of a shunter type locomotive that we have a license for. We're hauling freight, I believe. Um, see if we can get a, some freight going out of here to somewhere. Um, drive a train. Uh-huh, uh-huh. What's this? Mm-hmm. Controls. Yeah, that's good to have on hand. You got a lot of manuals in this book. There's this. You can point at switches. Ahead, switch the tracks around so you go the right way. It's pretty cool. Uh, Derail Valley Guide. Yep, all you need to know the basics in addition to the tutorial. Um, yep, we need to go over there to that building. <clears throat> That's where we get jobs and where we get cash in our jobs when we're finished with them. Yep, at the job validator. And you get fees and um, stuff, right? Lots to it. Um, put that away for now. Money, that's how much money we got on hand. I think I've paid all my fees. I was just over there, came over here to look at the train again. And see that looks like the cover of Pink Floyd album. Need a pig floating around. Coupling directions, yep. Train basics. It's really cool mechanics they got going for for coupling the trains together, and decoupling them. You get down here, you crouch. You got to connect this stuff. Pretty cool machinery. You can connect the brake lines. Make sure the valves are open. 
It's pretty cool. So let's um do some of this other stuff. Yeah, I haven't even gotten fuel yet. Um, I think you gotta get a license to be able to work the fuel pump. Quick overview that there is stuff to overview. And this, like, yeah. right from the map, I uh, can't tell you everything. It's not a tutorial, but right, each place that we go to deliver our goods or cargo no passengers yet um that i'm aware of passenger station maybe there are passengers see there's an update there's a passenger station i don't know if there's passengers anyway they all have a little map of where they want you to leave stuff or where you're going to find stuff to take it somewhere else in your train that's the game um yeah and there are bigger and better trains and you just have to pay for a license to drive them i guess and other things fees all sorts of stuff. And where are we now? We're at the factory goods. No. I was just looking at the map. Oh, which one is it? Nope. Shunter Quick Guide. That's what that was. I don't have stuff out there. Top of the map. Where's the map? There's the map. Number one. What was it? This button? No. This button? No. Yeah. We're up there at the machine factory and town. So we're in town. Maybe we should go to the, go to the pub, huh? What are these? Triangles. They're yellow pizza squares. We're the blue pizza square. And I don't know, these other dots are industries that are here? Maybe? I'm not sure. Different things. I don't know. We'll find out, I guess, all in all. Um, yeah, what is it? Um, places to go. We have a home. If we ever get around to it, go visit it. A home base. I think we get fast travel after a little while. That was mentioned in the uh, tutorial. All right. Just a little bit of orientation, you know, since um, I didn't record the tutorial. Maybe I should have. Whatever. It's done. We're rolling. Uh, could do that a lot faster. Oh, so, right, travel. Um, w, S, um, D, A, and F is teleport. Right? But it's just like, can't go anywhere. Anywhere within this distance. We're on the roof. It's pretty... Decent, but it doesn't go any further out than that, right? I can't click on the hill in the distance and teleport out there and then teleport down there. I don't think I can teleport up there, but it's certainly back up on the roof. And that's kind of a cool feature. Just sort of hit that F key and hasten yourself along. Right. So let's see what it's all about. Let me go over here to get jobs. But um, I can always remind myself, I think, of licenses uh, from this machine. Uh, career manager. Hit the down button. Highlight the licenses. Then confirm. 
tells me what licenses I own at the time. Train driver. Uh, freight hauler. Or freight haul. Yep, I got that license. And I've got this, um, what is this? DE2? Don't remember what that does for me. I could get a shunting license for a thousand. Multiple units, 30 grand. Um, manual service. <clears throat> That's the one so I could fill the tank with gas and also fix it all by myself. Otherwise, I have to pay a fee to have that done. Um, so I could get that license here for 20 grand, but I don't have that much. Um, and a logistical haul license for 20 grand. There's more. A DEB license. Not sure what that is. Uh, yeah, 200,000 for that. Wow. Let's kind of go down. Um, different stuff like... Um, not sure. Current jobs. Is that plus one? Like, you can take two... We can take one job already, I think. Can we? Or is that... Do I have to buy a license to take a job? They didn't mention that in the... Anyway, I don't think so. I think that's so you can take more jobs. Is it? No, then what's the multiple thing? Units. Oh, that's so you can use multiple locomotives on a job. I, I'm, I'm making some of this up, I think. That I don't really know. Hazmat, one and two. That's pretty self-explanatory. And three. Oh, military. So we could do military transports. Uh, I will need licenses for those. All right, so that's something to keep an eye on, though, when we go over here to the table and see what jobs are available. We don't want to feed the machine saying we're going to take a job that we don't have a license for or can't afford. Freight hall. We have that license. We can get 8900 $65 for that. Minus any fees that will occur. Machine factory and town going to city southwest. All right, we can place that down here. That's part of our options. And this one over here, I think the green labels are what we're suited for. Well, actually, I don't have a long... See down here? Well, right, license requirements. Um, the freight hall, which we have that. But the long, I don't believe I have that. So that might be out of the question. There's a green sticker. Well, what are these other ones? Logistical hall. Yeah, we need a long license and a logistical haul license. How much do we have? Where's the wallet? No, no, no. There it is. $9,546. I don't want to spend it all on a... Yeah, so it's just not, not the thing. What's this? Shunting. Oh, we need a hazmat for this one. And a shunter's license. No, thank you. The freight, we can do that. But it also has a long... How much is the long? Logistical haul. Is yellow. Shunting. Just need a shunt license. Not that the one that we can do is, isn't fine. 
just want to see shunting license is only a thousand dollars I think once you buy it oh it's that button you have it and that allows to take shunting jobs not that I'm real excited about it but I mean shunting something we gotta have to do anyway right eventually I think moving stuff to and fro let's buy something just to go cha-ching and see it happen confirm so let's insert the wallet to pay for it where's the wallet again it was six no it's five yep over that slot press the button and they're like yep we got your money confirm oh we gotta put our wallet away there we go. We are shunt capable. If we so choose. Do I have a locker here? Not that I need one here. And I mean, all the, you know, this stuff, I think it shows up at the house. It's probably where my other stuff went. I left it in the, um, my locker, but the locker didn't lock. It was part of the... So we'll just leave it there. So people will know. Is it something I can fold up and put in my pocket? Can I tab it? Oh, I can. You know, if I carry all my licenses around with me... That's just going to clutter up stuff. G button to drop it. It'll be fine there. I think it ends up back at my house. Was it this one we can do? Yeah, no trouble there, right? City South. Um, so we are in Machine Factory Town. South would probably be down here in the South. City Southwest. Mm -hmm. Is that where we're going, or was it City South? I thought it said City South, but I just... I don't read well, so... It probably is City Southwest, which looks like a real... Nice trip. Easy peasy kind of thing. Let me look at this thing again. Where'd it go? Did I drop it? Did I tab it somewhere? I did. I put it in my pocket. Gotta watch that. Oh, wait. Well, we were just over there. I know. I'm learning. It, we got a shunting license. What's the long license? I didn't look. No, that's logistic. Is there something that says long? There's a little square that says long. I don't get it. Is this another one of those things where I'm, I, I don't know how to read? So it's holding me back. Train length. Oh, so there's <clears throat> train length one and train length two, which I think, you know, I could be making up stories here, but I'm dealing with what they gave me. This here, where it says license requirement, all it says long. It's got a long one, and it could be a long two, which I think translates to right that makes sense doesn't doesn't it translates to train length one and two get up in it man what button are I looking for it's on there <laughs> there it is one thousand and two thousand dollars we'll we'll spend uh, 
a, a grand on the first level of shunting and train length. Why not? Just just to be a spender. Insert the wallet, right? They always want the wallet. You know, what number was that? Five? I'm remembering. Oop. That was just with a click of the button there, you know. What happened? Oh, does that say 10,000? It does say 10,000. Not only can I not read. Not good at math either. It's no, there's no point in me. Can't even find a tab button. an extra zero on there I guess that I didn't see we're short of cash in that case that's okay we weren't going to take it anyway just like we spent the money on a shunters and I, I, I don't think I want to do shunting am I am I not I'm not we're going to take the freight I didn't need to buy a license at all I just wanted to do some spending just to, just to see how it was done we did it it does say southwest. There's a whole west on the end that I was just ignoring. City south, that's where I was headed. City southwest, but they actually call it on the map city SW, which southwest. Let's not be silly. Let us not be silly. Isn't Pam Pamela? Certainly is. Every day all day okay so this is going to weigh or does weigh um, 180 tons 72.21 meters long it's just four carts uh, it's the freight hall number I guess new cars a lot of cars on there excellent supposed to take us 27 minutes um right and you know with the way I gab and stuff oh there's a map right there we'll hold on to that put it in the pocket don't let me forget that put it in his pocket city southwest and we're up here at the machine factory now probably a good idea to actually do a little prep work yeah see if we can't find where that would be what were my clues again I think like the MFFH 97 will be on the side of the cart or something hmm get that F key to do some teleporting we just look for cars. I think we saw some earlier. Let's see if there's four cars over here. There are. This is probably us here. Yeah, I don't know. That's not the number on that's on the ticket, is it? Oh, there it is. See it? MFFH97. Wonder if every cart says that though. I don't think so. I think that's the number I was looking for. Yeah, this is MFFH19. Different hall. Right? You know what I'm saying, right? Where'd it go? Map. Nope. Nope. Oh, he's so confused. There it is. The job ticket. This number up here. MFFH97. It's our job ticket. That matches. So, pretty sure all the carts that are connected. 
but you know a thorough thing would be to inspect it all that in fact actually when we take the job itself I do believe that there is a invoice that does have individual rail cart numbers on it that you know one should check off and make sure they didn't put something funny in the middle of your load that you were supposed to be paying attention about and they put like an oil rig or something in the middle you're delivering a big old tank of oil cross county lines without a license be scandalous Quit goofing around. That's what we're after. Which way is it going, though? Is it going that way? Oh, map. And we're looking north. And it's now we're looking south towards City SW. City Southwest, bro. Oh, wrong button. Oof. We need to go that way. And our train, F it. Let's get the F over there. It's the F key. I'm not being foul. See, we can get up in it. It's a cool train. They teach you how to operate this. Um, but there are actually keys to operate stuff. I'll have to figure that out because they don't teach you that part. They teach you WSAD for walking around and the F key. But they don't tell you about the hot keys for your loco, which it's facing that way. So we may have to go to the turntable and turn it around. So that's going to be time costly if I take the job and then go turn it around. There's also that thing, right? This. We are at the machine. We could look at, uh, see here. I'm not that smart. Where what would it be? Just flip through it until you see it. Did I already pass it? No. Can't remember where I'm at. That's where we're at. No. Right? Machine factory in town? Oh, it's color coded. Machine factory transfer yard B. Transfer overview of A. Loading yard. Oh, they have the numbers on them of what the tracks are, like one LP. That's a passenger station, so I'm definitely not there, but. Right over here, hit the F button. I think there's one there too. Oh, I passed it. There. That's B50. B6S. Or is that B50? Okay. Yeah, so currently standing out here. And my my loco is over here on two O. Is it not? I don't know, you tell me. Yeah. I don't need 
that my hand getting in the way. Oh, it's up there. I'm on 4i. 2s is over there. And I'm on 4i, and I need to get them from wherever they were. They're over here. Two O B two O. They gotta go that direction, right? Yes, that way. All right. So I gotta go down this middle track to get all the way to the other side and back in and pick them up. But I gotta get my train turned around. So I gotta find the turnaround thing. Might be over here on the other side anyway. So I gotta go over there, back up, find it. Let me go run around this area with the F key. Back down yonder here, take a peek around the corner. See if I can find where they Found it. Oh. Got myself in a pickle. We can bring the train over here to turn it around. And we could grab one of these if we had a license. Steam train even. This is where we'd bring it for service. If we had a license to service it. Otherwise, we just have to pay the fees to get it serviced when we finish with our duties. Right? You can't buy trains. You just use them and pay the fees when you have a license. All right. I think we're parked over here. Let's get turned around. See if I remember this. It's dark in here. I think these are the lights. Click and slide. Got a horn. Yep. Flip the breakers up. Did I get them? Yep. Here's the ignition. Pull back on the switch. How did I get it? It's running. I'm pretty sure we're decoupled. Oh, we gotta get the brake pressure up. It's coming. Gotta work out which brakes what. It's a good question. Break bias. Yeah, that can come in handy, huh? That's all it's got to say about that, huh? I should read that. Someday. free put the reverser and the forward it's pretty dark in here isn't it Ooh. 
Or do we need to go over there somewhere? No, that's not right. Oh yeah, that's right. We can go over there, flip this thing around, and come back and get to the other side of those carts. over there huh yep so I think I've gone far enough I can turn it around hmm should learn how to do this right Let's see what is it K yeah so that'll look K and J, no, K and L? Yeah. L and K for the break. No. Yeah, the throttle, the throttle, U and Y. That's good enough for now. The reverser. Yeah. I think... Work out which way I gotta go, huh? It's probably a good idea. Right up the middle, I thought. that one. Have some brake on. Oops. It's that F key. Let's go plot it. So we want to go this way, which will bypass that. It's the way we came. I know. Instead of going back down that way. Maybe we do want that one. Yeah, because we want to go right up the middle to get to the other side. See, time would be wasting if I took the job already. So we want... I don't think that's us at all. That's for something else, isn't it? We want this track. Which would be back here. Go that way. It'll put us over here. We'll back it up to go that way and that one's already set correctly to take us right through the middle good we'll worry about the rest of it when we get a little further down the way I think that's the plan uh, what was that button to get us going Q does it oh do I have here put this away there it is I didn't realize that was engaged already So like 
Okay, you got a big load going down a hill and you want to maintain that speed. You can ride that other brake. Just want to have excess coasting of the train pushing you so much. I mean, it can only do so much as well. and watch the train go by. Oh, well, I was supposed to figure out what I'm doing here, huh? Hold it down there, Sonny. I think, what was the brakes? That was K or L? L. It's a think. Well, it might be further up. We're fine. Yeah, it's over there somewhere. Yeah, way up there. We'll have to bypass it and then back up on the tracks over there. Okay. Making sense now. Uh -huh. Go get this thing turned around. a 
temperature speedometer. The engine temperature there. Brake release pressure. Brake pipe pressure. Nothing over there. Oil level. Fuel level. That's good. Stand. We can pour sand if we need it for wheel slip. I better pay attention to where I'm going, huh? Yeah, dang. Right as I needed to turn that way. All right. grab it with the mouse nope <laughs> need to change the reverser to go non-reverse This is rated to pull 400 tons. I think our load is like a hundred and something. However, that's, you know, on flat ground and all that. So I think it's not lined up correctly, so I shouldn't just roll over there. Let's see, got an F. The shack here. Has the turny thing. Let's see, if I can get this to start moving. Can I look up then? Nope. Oh. Spin that around. It's real weird. Gotta listen for it. You hear this tonk, and then you let go of it, and it'll naturally go chunk. It's a thing. I think it did it. We'll find out shortly. Oh, it lined up with a different one, but that's okay. It did line up with one, just not the one I thought it was. And we can go back and push it, but we can just push this bar, do a fine adjustment. got a good sound chink it is lined up it may look a little funny it's lined up pretty sure I need to turn this around I hope I'm not doing the wrong thing here reverse is that right no Pull forward Use the button. Break. Release. Giddy up. It's not a 
sports car, my friend. I think I'm on there. Yeah, that's on there. See if I can get this here. This is real hard to. Because I can't move away from this position without letting go of the. Took a guess at it. I think I lined it up. Did I turn it around? Yeah. Yeah. But we need to go that way. And the train we need to pick up, or the carts we need to pick up are up here and then back into that. We'll hitch into them and be able to pull out forward that way. Can't just back stuff up with this train. For small distances, otherwise it. Oh, did I move it? We're lined up. Trying to get up here. Use the F key. Ooh, nice lighting. We can go forward. Reverser is in the forward position. Got a horn. Release the brake. Give us some forward juice. The U key does that. And then the Y key should bring us to coasting if no if the brakes aren't going. And you know, it's not called derail valley for nothing. You can certainly derail. I mean I'm not pushing the speed limit whatsoever, so I don't suspect I'll derail. While we're here in the station, anyway. <laughs> but there's a feature on the arm thing in which you just, you point it at the train cart and Put it back on the track so oh i'm hauling like there's no tomorrow what was the button for the reverser no no that's this brake dang There was a button for it. I and O? No. It's not G. G is to let some go. F is to skip around in space and time. No. I don't know what to do about that. Are we coasting? We are. Just grab a hold of it. Put it in reverse. I'll have to read the... The RTFM, right? And I have it on me. Oh, did I not? Did I get in time? Oh, no. I'm, oh, I just came from there. It's not easy being me. Now 
much. By the time I stop this and turn around, I'll be like, oh, I need to switch the track. set it up but we're gonna go this way and it should take us right through the center track no we don't want to go on the center track we want to hook up right now we're going to hook up this in hand not sure I think this is correct we're gonna want to go this way one oh that wasn't correct we wanted to go that way there. It's those guys right there we want. You betcha. Oh wait. Yeah. That's right. If I have to be standing on it for it's going kind of fast, huh? That's nah, fine. If there's damages, we'll get charged for them. Be in the fees. But I don't think that would have uh, damage. It's got bumpers. It wasn't going that fast. I'm looking for a button. I think it's the control button where I can crouch. Get up in it. So we're going to want to grab one of these. Don't need to be in here this close, but I wanted to be able to see it. Hook that up in there just by clicking and dragging. And give that a fling. That gets them held tight. And grab this air hose. Bring it over here. It just connects with the other one. Abracadabra. Open up the valve on both sides. We're good. Get out of here. We're hooked up. Now, I was just saying, you know, you can be on there in kind of a remote control, right? Um, I shouldn't leave the station yet because we haven't taken the job. I got to remember that. Let's go over here and take this job. Am I going the right way? Yep. I put it in my pocket. But to actually accept the job, we have to insert it into the job validator. Which is over here. Job validator. Insert with a click. And there's our uh, job description. Same as before with that, giving us all that detail. Plus, when we turn the page, it tells us where that was located on B20, which we already found. But it didn't give us that information until you take the job. So all that footwork we'd be stuck with right now while the time is ticking, which... 
alt button. 27 minutes to go. Where does that confounded train? Where did I put it? Um, so there's that, and so there's this telling us also gives us the detailed each number of each part that's going. So we make sure that they didn't sneak one in the middle. We had to uncouple and recouple stuff. And then what else? Tells us what to uncouple at City Southwest. And where? C3I track. Complete the job. Insert the int. Insert this booklet into the nearest job vendor, right? If we did it now, it'd give us a ticket that says it's not complete. That's because it's not complete. We got to go to Southwest City, City Southwest. Raw. And C3I. You know, logistics, you gotta take care of things. You gotta know where you're going before you go there. I think I passed it. You know. Coal mine. Factory, machine, harbor, harbor, city southwest, C, 3I, right up the center, if we're coming from the northeast. We are, oh, come on, no, that's not what it is. What's going on? There. Yeah, we come from the north. So it's just, they're making it easy on us, I hope. I hope. Should be a straight shot. We just gotta make sure the junctions are good as we go. Great. You betcha. Oh. Make a pause. All right. Yeah, get another drink. Yeah, so. Is that it? Yeah. We're currently up here. Gonna exit out. That way, we want to stay right. I don't know if that's an option. Don't think there's no option to turn. We have to be careful when we get down here. To stay left. And then work out where C platform's at. I think it was the center one. Good. Let's get on our way. Forward that way. Um, can't remember the button for that, so let's just do that manually. I think the brake is off. It is. Give us some juice. Hopefully those will come with us. Should check and make sure there aren't any shenanigans. Like some the last one wasn't connected or something. Just with the F key moving around. faster than this.
it would come on if we were slipping. Sand the rails if we needed to. We should have the headlight on, huh? Why not? Man, there aren't any other trains in the world or any other populace. It's just us in the freight. There are speed limits posted. Um, be like three for 30, six for 60, 12 for 120, which this would not do. I think, you know, 65, if this would do 70, I'd be surprised, maybe downhill. Are we going the right way? I don't know. Are we? Captain? Yes, we are. Look at those yellow pieces of pie. Should I do something about that? Other locomotives that I could drive. That's my guess. If there's some, uh, a couple other shunters of this style of locomotive. I mean, I don't know if it's, I should do, you know more research it's it's the one you begin with it's the beginner's model and it's gonna put us on the main line going out of here and I don't think there's a turnoff for us here to just continue forward I don't think there's a turnoff there either just continue forward far it is, it, let's see, it was 27 minutes if, you know, if it's not me driving, which, how about let's give a little juice, forgot to see what speed limit was, but usually it's 50 or 60, looks like a pretty straight track. Four minutes is what it was saying. 27. I don't think it tells us mileage anywhere. I think this is a speed limit sign up here. Yep, 10, so that's 100. We can't do 100, but. See our uh, the slippage. Yikes! Why don't you try and derail? I think I can lean. <laughs> oh, we're pushing 65. Probably ought to be a little careful with that. bad thing of oh, 70 and we're doing 70 I should put the brake on boy that didn't do much oh we're probably going way downhill some of this brake on at least some of that brake Sixty, right? It, when we were supposed to do, we'd be doing sixty. Not because I'm a good pilot. What's that? A hundred? Not ten miles an hour. It's 
so we can give a little juice. I'm just learning this, so I'm gonna be a little timid. Wouldn't you know? I don't want to derail. I mean, I got a tool to fix it, but there's gonna be fees and damages. Does look like there's gonna be a tight turn down to 80 now. We're doing 65, so it means plenty safe, but you know. <laughs> We're just coasting, haven't lost any speed at all, so it's downhill. I think that's all released. Yeah. Uh-oh. I feel like we should slow down a bit. Yep, should slow down a whole lot. That's 30 mile an hour right here. We're not gonna make it. There you go. Huh. So. Ah, your first derailment. No worries. You can't afford re-railing. Ah, uh, and finishing the job. Consider discarding it to a trash bin so you can take another. Right? So I guess that's an option. You just oh, throw that job in the trash and... Uh -huh, uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know right because I guess right, I didn't realize that the uh, re-railing tool I guess cost something let's see I thought I had it um, maybe it's just a demonstration of it but Can remove it to clear it re-rail aim at the vehicle you wish to re-rail that would be one re-rail I don't know if this is where I want to be probably not oh the price what's the price re-rail for nothing I don't think I want it there, though. I just wanted to see what the price was. Such is the way. I don't think this is where I want to be. <laughs> Maybe let's just go put it where I need it. Work that mess out. Alright, well, you know, that was less than... Um, Oh, those are re already railed. Not derailed at all, are they? I thought the whole thing came off. It was just a couple of carts then, huh? 
felt like a whole disaster. Everything fell off, but it didn't. All right. And now that I've already put those on, dang. I'll have to do the whole thing backing up. So. <laughs> uh, yeah. Wouldn't you know it? Also, so, you know, let's figure out where I'm at. Where I should have been. Oh, it's a mess. I need to go back a bit, that's for sure. All right. Push a button. Wrong way. Step away. All right. Okay. Pressure's already up. That's good. That light on. Give me some horn action. That'll make your day better. Lowered. Give me some juice. Nothing's happening. Probably. Because I got the brake on. Give some juice. Slipping wheels. That causes damage. And they're gonna charge me for it. It's one of those days. But I imagine. Where's my thing? Oh, golly. Hmm. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. <laughs> um, you know, I forgot to get out and connect the car. And it's sitting back there, right where we put it, like a good car should. So we'll go back and get it. Instead of at this moment, we should be backing up to our train, put things straight, like, you know, like it never happened. To just pretend things away. It should be coming right here. Hmm. Did I leave the engine going? That's pretty fast, isn't it? Should be all right. That was a good hit. Um, yeah, I guess that was pretty hard. If I stop, the, that car will keep going, right? It will. stop and it's not a downhill and it's just gonna go to the next town let's go get it um, let me be careful here I think if I just get a little juice that should be enough and that'll get it'll, it'll get there eventually it will come to us and we'll be waiting for it and we'll latch it together hopefully we'll be here at the ready Let's crouch down, put our head down here on the track. Watch it stop like just there, just shy. Oh, come on. 
<laughs> you can do it. I think I can. I think I can. It's almost there. A little closer. Keep coming. It's me. Simple as that. Gotta love trains. We'll come and get you guys. We gotta back up. I think we gotta back up. Yeah, we gotta back up to find out where we're going. <laughs> it's probably gonna eat into the 24 minutes or 27 minutes I was supposed to have. Just a little bit, but uh, you know. Oh wait, is that the one I want? What's this one? Don't do it too soon. Should be on its way back right now. Hopefully I'm not gonna cause a big old mess because I left the engine running. So it's gonna be like doing 80. Oh, what's going on here? Oh, jeepers. Oh, I'm in a pickle. I'm in a pickle. I'm not sure why that wouldn't change. I mean, I can understand why it won't change now. I'm sitting on it. Because I had my device set for re-railing a thing, not for switching tracks. Something's bad. Flashy lights aren't good, right? Um, Rerail. We don't want rerail. We don't want clear. We don't want crew vehicle. We want switch. Thank you very much. What's going on with your flashiness?
Did I hook it up wrong? I don't know. Probably. Train sounds. I need to be a little on the quiet side for a train, but all in all, it looks, you know, it sounds like there's enough racket squealing and battery. I'm gonna hit that thing here pretty soon. train back after all that so need to figure out where I'm going back here is where we came in and I think I was supposed to go forward so we'll need to back up to here I think and find our way in this way C6L, we want C3I. Right here. Right here. Yep, that's where we want to be. And those are all set correctly. That would have been easy. That's set correctly. It was just the one that wasn't. That's set correctly. Yeah, you know, it was just that one right there. That one's not. That one. Oh. Boop. And we need to back up to change that one. All right. Hello. They'll still take it if it's late. Um, it's just you late. Probably damage that I did to the vehicle. That I'll get fined for. Like any money. 
money I've earned, uh, I've toasted probably. Unless there was like a first mission forgiveness thing. Like they didn't charge me anything to re-rail it, so I don't know, maybe the first re-rail's free. I'm guessing. I'm making up stories. I don't know. I didn't read the manual. I went through the tutorial. They mentioned stuff. I'm sure I heard a thing. But... Something or train's broken. What am I doing wrong? Did I pinch the wheels with the track? I'm too close with it. There we go. No, it just, I, oh, I think it was had a little bit, I was like a little bit of on the throttle, and I didn't know it. Didn't know it. sure I got that all assigned correctly it's gonna put us right through the center here which is C3I it's where they asked us to, to put it yeah and we just have to get it there past the sign there's a sign on each side of the track and plenty of room for it. The spot C3I, this track. As soon as we get past that sign, stop the train. It's delivered. We can unhook it later. Unhook it now, doesn't matter. Just don't know how close that is to 27 minutes, if that was a long time ago or if there's like just seconds. And I really should just be running over there to Turn the ticket in. Because we're here. I think. I think we've passed it. Wouldn't want to stop the train too early. Should have checked first, I guess. What's going on? Yeah, we're in. In like Flynn. Where's the building? Where's the ticket office? 
on the other side of campus, probably. Run around willy nilly. It's on the other side of town or something. What's this building? Not it. Oh, there's a shop. That's where you buy the remote control. Got no time for that now. I don't know where I'm going. Well, there's a building. Somehow I got on the other side of the wall. I could wind up spending more time looking for the office if I did get had, had gotten here I'll learn to talk one of these days you know what I'm saying it's on the map isn't it it's on the world map no it's not on the world map it's on that other map We came in that way. It's off that. Is it the little circle thing? Maybe it's off that way from this map. I'm not sure what that means. Maybe I could work this out. We came in from that way, so it's off over here. Did I already go to that building? Oh, what was it? No. No. Hmm. It's probably easier than this to find. I mean, that was a service place over there. Passengers. Why would the freight ticket turn in place be over here by passengers? It wouldn't. Then why am I here? So it's cool. Well, it looks like an office. Ticket office. But it's not. It's a ticket office for passengers. Huh. That's a thing, you know. I'm sure once I find it, it's like, oh, yeah, that plane is day. Inconveniently located, but currently, that's not the situation. That's service. We don't need service. Well, I suppose if in reality, I could pop my head in there and say, yo, where's the ticket office? And that building there looks like it should be it, but we've already been there. Why would they put it on the other side of this wall? This I don't know. None of these answers do I have. Have I none? The answer is I. All right. So that's, you know, basically the end of this. Um, they'll charge me a lot of fees. 
It'd be nice to show you that, um, but, you know. All right, I'll push the pause. So that's where we park. We came in this way. It is, as the map says. Of course, just like the map says. Over here. As you come in, it'll be over here on the left. Over here. <laughs> that was an ordeal. Yeah. We'll get better things, I hope. Alright, let's turn it turn turn in the job. Where is where's our job? Job's right there. We did good, I hope. I mean insert job booklet. That's our job booklet. Boom. Complete. Cash in. Oh, drop this. Grab the cash, man. Get the cash. So what is it? 8,965. That's before these. What's this? Complete. 44 minutes. So nearly double the time. It's nuts. Time bonus zero. Otherwise, well done. Thanks for derailing things. No damage was made to property or environment. Keep it up. Somebody wasn't paying attention. It's all right. No big deal. Just a derailment. Easy peasy. All right. So let's end it there, right? I know I got to unhook it. But other than that, we'll get another job for next time. That's long enough. I mean, I was like... Now nah, I'll just do this tutorial and we'll jump in after the tutorial so they don't have to sit through a tutorial. And then I more or less talked you through a tutorial. And we derailed the train. Bonus. Alright. Hey, you've been warned. The video is ending. Finally. God. What do we fade to black? Bye.